Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you Boolean expression to NOR gate implementation in this session. So here we have Boolean expression y is equals to a bar plus b c bar, right? And that is what we are little bit to translate into NOR gate implementation. So to have this Boolean expression in terms of NOR gate implementation, there are few steps which we need to follow. And in that first step is to make this Boolean expression in AOI form where AOI is and or and not implementation. So let me write this step first. So our agenda is to implement given Boolean expression in AOI form where A is and or O is or and I is inverter which is not gate right. So first we will implement this given Boolean expression in AOI implementation. So I'll explain you how to do this. Now you see here we have three variables as an input, right? A, B and C. So C over here we have, let us say we have terminal A, right? And over here, let us say we have a terminal B and let us say terminal C is over here, right? Now see, in this output we have a bar so a bar that we can have it by having not gate over here so i'm connecting not gate over here then we have directly b and then c bar is there so c bar that we can have it by having inverter right so here we will be having a bar and here we'll be having c bar right and now you see b c bar that is there so here b and c that ending operation that we need to perform. So here I'll connect AND gate over here. So this will result into B C bar, right? Now you can see A bar and B C bar that is there with OR operation. So with A bar and with B C bar, we are a little bit to perform OR operation over here right and that is what our output y so this is how we can have aoi implementation from given boolean expression right now next step is to apply bubble at output of or gate and apply bubble at input of and gate right so here now in next step we are deal with to apply bubble at output of or gate and bubble at input of AND gate. So let me write it first. So in next step, we are dealing with to apply bubble at output of OR gate and at input of AND gate. So we will apply it after drawing this circuit. So let me draw this circuit again. So in this circuit, we need to connect bubble at output of OR gate, right? So this is OR gate. So at output of this OR gate, I need to connect bubble over here and this is AND gate. So at input of AND gate, I need to connect bubble. So you can see over here at input of AND gate, I'm connecting bubble over here, right? So this is step number two. Now in step three, we need to connect NOT gate in place of bubbles, which we have connected over here, right? So here in next step, we need to connect NOT gates in place of bubbles which we have already connected as you can see it by this green color right so let me write this step and then we will connect not gate so now in next step we are a little bit to connect not gate in place of bubbles which we have applied right so let me draw this circuit first and then we will connect not gate to it So see in this circuit, we are dealing with to connect NOT gate where we have connected bubble. So you can see at output of OR gate, we have connected bubble. So I need to connect one NOT gate over here. And at input of NAND gate, we have connected two bubbles. So where I need to connect NOT gate. So I'm see I'm connecting NOT gate over here, right? So this is what step number three. Now in next step, we need to cancel NOT gates 
which is connected in series right so we need to cancel double not gates connected in series so that we can reduce size of circuit right so in next step we are deal with to cancel not gates which is there in series so let me write this so what will happen is like see if you have a over here right and you are having not gate so here there will be a bar and again if you have one more not gate so that will result into a so all we will be doing is we'll be cancelling this to not gate so that we can reduce size of circuit so in this circuit now we are a little bit to cancel two not gates connected in series so you can see this and this not gate that is in series so we need to cancel it right so here these two not gates that we are cancelling and now i'll draw this circuit again so let me draw this circuit so this is what my circuit after cancellation of not gate see i have cancelled these two not gates over here right now in next step we need to place nor gate equivalent of this gate right so now in next step we are deal with to place nor gate equivalent so let me write now see if you wanted to have not gate right then in nor all you need to do is you need to short two input terminals of nor gate and then you can have not gate right and if you see this and gate with inverted input right then this is equivalent to nor gate and let us try to understand how this is happening so this is happening as per de morgan's theorem so if you observe de morgan's theorem so that explains a bar dot b bar whole bar sorry a bar dot b bar that is equals to a plus b whole bar right so a bar dot b bar that is equals to a plus b whole bar and you can see this is what a bar dot b bar right and this is a plus b whole bar nor gate that is how we need to replace not gate with nor gate and and gate with inverted input with nor gate and we can realize this given circuit in terms of nor gate so i'll explain you how step by step we can redraw that so let us say we have terminal a over here now with this terminal a we have one not gate so that not gate by nor gate we can realize it by having shorted input like this you can see right now see we have terminal b over here so here even not gate is there so we can have this not gate by shorting two terminal of input of nor gate as i have explained it over here and then c terminal so that is directly going like this now see this and gate with inverted input so that is equal to nor gate so here i need to place nor gate right and now see this two terminal that is what we are giving it to nor gate over here so see this is what input to nor gate and here again inverter is there so this inverter that we can have it by shorting to input nor gate and this is what my output y right so this is how i can realize equivalent circuit from boolean expression in terms of nor gate right now i'll explain you how all those things are happening and i'll derive this boolean expression from this nor gate just to cross verify whatever we have done that is correct or not right so here you can see this is what a right so this is not gate so here that will be a bar now see this is what b so here that will be b bar and this is c over here so output of this nor gate that will be b bar plus c whole bar and if you apply de morgan's theorem then that will be b bar bar dot c bar that will be b dot c bar right and c b dot c bar that is one input and second input is a bar 
so if you apply nor gate over here if you apply nor gate over here then that will be a bar plus b c bar right and bar of it so that is what nor gate realization of it and if you see my output is inversion of this so i can say output y that is inversion means this bar will get cancelled so y is equals to a bar plus b c bar now if you see this y is equals to a bar plus b c bar in boolean expression so you can see that is how we can cross verify that even y is equals to a bar plus b c bar right so in this nor gate we have proved this like see that is how it is happening so i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video and please give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are giving motivation to me and based on your suggestions only in future i am making videos which is resolving queries of students and that is even beneficial to students those who are learning from my channel so please give your positive suggestions which is highly required and that is motivating me thank you so much for watching